Jasper is home to a new attraction for those hoping to set their sights on the stars. Opening today, the new Jasper Planetarium offers a unique year-round stargazing experience while also celebrating the town's dark sky reserve status. And here to tell us all about it is Peter McMahon. He is manager of the Jasper Planetarium and astronomer in residence. Good evening. Welcome to Alberta Primetime. Nice to have you here. Hi, Shauna. Welcome to the planetarium. Here we are inside. Many people might be surprised to learn there's now something like this in Jasper. Let's start with how this planetarium is all set up and show us, if you don't mind, what is behind you. Sure. So uh, a few months ago, uh, a number of business people in town and I were talking about how it's wonderful that we have this dark sky preserve, uh, but on a day to ba on a day to day basis, there's really uh, there was really nothing to do for someone who's coming to town saying, okay, I'm excited about this, give me something to do, what do I do? And uh, so we looked into the technology of it and realized that you can actually have a, a planetarium that, that's not tens of millions of dollars. We've essentially uh, bought a, an inflatable mobile planetarium that you would take to a school or library uh, that you can take to different locations and permanently stationed it in, uh, at one of the hotels here in Jasper. And that's what we're inside right now. So it's sort of like a golf dome. It's, it's permanently inflated and, and where it is, and we can see about 35 people inside. And uh, as you can see behind me, we're in the town of Jasper. We've got the totem pole by the, uh, the trains there. And uh, slowly but surely, the sun is uh, setting. We can see some stars in the Milky Way out there right now and uh, a number of other things. And we can look at planets and meteor showers and the northern lights and, and all sorts of things. Let's continue on. Give us a sneak peek, if you can, as to what people will experience in that planetarium during the show when they take that tour. Sure. So let me just uh, bring up the planet Saturn. We're going to center, uh, center the planetarium on that. And uh, I'll tip the, uh, the camera up a little bit so you can check it out here. Here we go. So Saturn should be... There it is, right up above there. And we can see some of the uh, two or three of the 62 moons of Saturn circling around the ringed planet right there. So because this is digital, uh, we can not only see stars on the ceiling, but we can go places in the universe. We can see different planets. We can fly to the edge of the Milky Way and back. And uh, we can even simulate the northern lights. So for example, uh, we can bring up the aurora here as well. Let me just see if we can get that up here. There we go. And so, um, let's see, here we go. Behind me here, we're back in the town of Jasper. And at night, we can see the beautiful Aurora Borealis starting to come out. There we are, up in the sky above us. So it is so realistic looking because you are using real images. Give us an idea from That's idea, right. inception to launch date, how all this came about. Well, it, it took about half a year for us to uh, find the, the model of planetarium and projector we wanted to bring in, and uh, we also had to have a, a tent custom made. Uh, it's, it's really not fair to call it a tent. It's a semi-permanent building that we had custom made that surrounds the planetarium. Uh, so it's sitting out in a courtyard next to a, a swimming pool at the, uh, the Marmot Lodge here in Jasper. Uh, and basically, after a few months of figuring out the logistics of how that would work, where we would put it, uh, who would come to see it and what we wanted in the show. It took about two months for me to develop the show to actually say, uh, here's what people would, might want to actually see. And the show that, uh, that actually happens here when people come into the planetarium, it's interactive and I take people through, you know, it's sort of like a guided tour. But more than just a tour of the stars, the show is really a tour of Jasper as well and the, the astronomical heritage from the, uh, the First Nations who had their own uh, constellations, beavers and canoes and, and uh, turtles and wolves and so on, uh, to the days of David Thompson, the geographer who mapped out a lot of North America and in fact this part of the Rockies as well. Uh, and then we can fly into space and, and uh, actually leave the Earth and stop just looking at the sky and actually go into space uh, to cir circle around the solar system, tour around the Milky Way and right to the edge of the universe in, in a uh, high-speed spaceship. I can see your passion as you talk about it. A lot of people that are just learning about it are pretty excited as well, aren't they, Peter? Yeah, we've gotten a great response from uh, tour groups who are interested in uh, having people come off the bus and uh, have this be uh, a, a new thing to do at night. Because this really is something that uh, not only cues to the, uh, the dark sky preserve, but also to uh, having something to do that's a little different in town. So instead of going out uh, and doing the things that you would normally do at night, 
here in the park. You can come and explore the night sky in the planetarium. And if it's clear, afterwards we, uh, we also go out and uh, look through the largest telescope, uh, as far as we know, the largest telescope in the Rockies at uh, planets and galaxies live in the actual sky as well. Well, it looks very cool. Thank you very much for filling us in, Peter. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me.